Gun violence in Chicago is unfortunately a normal occurrence for many of those living in the inner city. Growing up in poverty with little options, many young kids find their way into street life. This is a story I know all too well and one I share with my family. Born and raised on the west side of Chicago, often near or directly in Humboldt Park, my family had a first-hand account of the typical experiences of a Latino family in the neighborhood. Family members struggled, tried to keep jobs, and attempted to stay on the straight and narrow, but somehow people we knew would fall into gang life. Growing up, many of the young men I knew associated with gangs weren't bad kids, but they were often in bad situations. I never fully grasped their way of life until the day I learned about my older brother's involvement. Robert Daniel Torres, or Tuto as I call him, is my half-brother, the son of the father of my younger brother and I. Tuto's mom and our dad parted ways early on in his life. Same with our dad and my mother. But our dad made an attempt to keep us in his life. We would visit most weekends growing up, and over the years, Tuto, my younger brother, and I bonded. Tuto wasn't a bad kid, but he was growing up in some difficult times. Having had a baby with his significant other as a teen, overcoming the obstacles of being a young Puerto Rican man in the 90s, dropping out of high school, and working through our family situation, he found it hard to make a living for his young family. Turning to the streets, he was able to make a lot of money fast, doing things I would have never expected, dealing drugs. In the beginning, he ventured into this on his own, but after becoming a target by gangs, he turned to a rival gang for support. It was through these decisions his life became a target. In 2003, Tuto was gunned down just a few blocks from where our dad lived, in a neighborhood we knew well. This was not the first time, as he was shot just a year prior. But this was the time that his life would be forever changed. He kept his life, but he lost his ability to walk. This is where his story begins.